Are you okay? I'm fine. Sorry, that's a lie. I'd lend you my phone, but I can't afford another one. I was dumb, sorry. I know something bad happened at the hospital, but no one would tell me exactly what was going on. Yeah, join the club! This is why I didn't want to tell her. I knew she'd spin out. It's, uh, it's a difficult thing to hear. <laughs> yeah. She's just not, she's not very good at handling bad news anyway, you know? I don't know about that. She got over and leaving Tahiti and starting a new school. Yeah, those were, I mean, ultimately they were good things. Yeah, but they were hard things. She'll handle this. Don't worry about it. I think it's harder on you. Of course, you want to protect her, don't you? Yeah, well, there's no protecting her from us. What happened? Not much. My mother's in the hospital, which I found out by accident. Wait, no one told you? Or that she's been sick for months. That she's dying. My God. I... My mother is dying. But why tell me? I'm just her daughter. So who's looking for Danny? Uh, Nate seemed to know where she might be. Nate? And I figured she wouldn't want to see me. Yeah, Nate. Her new boyfriend? What's he doing here? Oh, come on. What? She's not her boyfriend. She's too young to have a boyfriend. Star and Cole? That's exactly right. They're too young. And yet, you trusted Nate to go looking for her. I don't know what else to do. So you did the right thing. This is reassuring, Todd. Very reassuring. <laughs> Gives me hope. You're starting to trust your daughter's boyfriends. I might finally be able to die happy. Oh, you better hold on, brother, because I'm never going to trust my daughter's boyfriend. Wait, she's dying? Yeah, she's dying with a big capital D. My God, I I'm so sorry, Danny. I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. Yeah, well, I'm with you on that. Since nobody trusted me enough to tell me. Because I'm so stupid that I can't look up brain tumor on the web or, or ask an intelligent question or who knows, maybe even go with her to radiation, hold her hand, but forget that. I, I'm useless. That's not why she didn't tell you. Not that I know your mom, but, but listen, my mom, she didn't tell me about our money problems for months. Yeah, and as soon as she did, you solved them. Sort of. If you don't count the, the kidnapping or the shootout. Well, money won't solve this or my dad would have solved it by now. My mom didn't want to tell me that we were broke because she didn't want me to worry. She kept thinking she'd find another job. But it was only after she realized that we were going to lose our My house. mother doesn't tell me anything. She didn't even tell me who my real father so it's, listen, so it's a pattern. When she's afraid that she's gonna scare you, she shuts up. My mom does that too. She was afraid to worry me and, and hurt my feelings as well, but... Yeah, but my mom is the one who is hurting. She probably thinks that, you know, you know, losing her, it might make you feel a little lost. How long does she have? I don't even know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's okay. No, it's not. I've been such a bitch to her. No. Been... Yes, I have. I've been horrible. Especially when I'd, when I'd find her with Todd. And he was just trying to take care of her because she's been sick. Hey, c come on. Most guys would have cut and run by now. The fact that he stuck around, that's a good thing. I guess. Yeah. He was here earlier. He was looking everywhere for you. He was worried. He was? Yeah. Then I sent him back to the hospital to be with your mom, that I'd find you. And what did he do? He left. Just like that? 
when, when I asked how long she had left, he said months, but then she said maybe less. They don't know. I mean, even the doctors, they give you a ballpark. I should call him, let him know that I found you. Do you have his number? Yeah, here, it's, um, it's in there. So he really just left? He wasn't all over you about what happened tonight with, with Bull and the money and all that? Uh, he was, but he was too worried about you and your mom to get into it. Uh, Danny's with me. Don't worry, Nate. Oh, thank God. Oh, yes, thank you, Nate. <laughs> Stop it. At least he found her. The, the thought of her out there alone. Oh, God. Todd, that's what I'm doing to her. I'm abandoning her. No, you're not. You're not abandoning her. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying. Well, I'm but you're not abandoning her. <laughs> she knows that if you could, that you'd be with her for the next hundred years. Sweetheart. Hey. She knows that you love her and that you're going to set things up so she never has to worry. Right? I could plan out the rest of her life, but I won't be there to listen to her when she needs to talk, to hold her when she needs to cry. I know. And she's going to miss out on those things, but you're not abandoning her. Abandonment is something... Well... <laughs> Abandonment is something else entirely. Believe me, I know. I know you do. <clears throat> You're right. She'll know that she's loved, and she'll know that she's cared for. Yeah. I just remember that when my mother died... Oh, hadn't she already left you and your dad? Yeah. <laughs> but I still had fantasies of her walking through the door. But those fantasies, they kept me company. When I found out that she finally had died, I never felt so alone <laughs> in my whole life. Danny's not going to feel that way, I promise. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. You, you have a prison sentence hanging over your head. You're going to get me out of it, aren't you? <laughs> I appreciate your faith in me, but... Listen, uh, even if I have to go away, she's going to be fine. You're going to write her postcards from prison? Todd, we need to talk about Ross. <sighs>